Now in my last video I showed you how to import all the extensions into Eclipse and now this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your own project and use AND Engine in your own project. So we're in Eclipse, we're going to go here and choose project. In the Android folder choose Android project. Next. Give your project a name. Next. Leave these settings as default. The build target is set to Android 4.0.3 with API level 15. That's fine. In the next screen, we're going to say that the minimum uh, Android level will be 2.2 so that our project can run on any phone that's running at least Android 2.2. So we're going to go next and just give our project a name. And here is where we can choose API level 8, which means that our project will run on phones that are running at least Android 2.2. Click Finish. We have our project right over here. And I'm going to open the main activity. And we have some default code in there. I'm going to grab one of the Android uh, and Engine examples and use that code in my project. I'm going to use the base physics join example. I'm just going to highlight all of this code, copy it, and I'm going to paste it into my project. I just have to remember my package name because I'm going to have to retype that in there. So I'm going to highlight all this, paste the new code in, so now I have a copy of all the code change my package name to what it used to be and then the name of the class has to match the name that we see up here which here we see my test project activity so that's what we have to type right here the other thing we have to do is change this base example now I suggest that you start out with using simple base game activity. Um, after you've gotten used to the new AND engine, you could investigate to see the difference between simple base game activity and just the regular base game activity. There are some differences, but if you're just starting out, I suggest you use the simple base game activity. Now we still have some errors in here, and that's because we still have not uh, linked the AND engine extensions to our project. So I'm going to do that now. First I'm just going to save this activity. I'm going to close both of these items. And to link the end engine extensions to my project, I right click on my project, go to properties. And actually while I'm here, I'm, you have to make sure that your Java compiler is set to 1.6. Okay. I'm going to go to Android here. And the way to link the extensions to your project is as a library project. So the library down here, click Add. You're always going to need AND Engine. And in this particular case, because I'm using code that relates to the box 2D physics engine or extension, I need to choose that one as well. So now I have those two extensions linked to my project. Click OK. and let's go back into my activity and there's still some errors as you can see all I have to do is hover my mouse over this symbol base game activity choose import and now you can see all the errors have gone away because now the activity recognizes the extensions that I linked to my project so I'm just going to click save and then you'll see that the errors went away from here as well the only final thing to do is the particular code that I chose uh, uses a few image files, these uh, PNG files here, and I need to make sure that those images are attached to my project as well. And so that would be in the assets folders where no, those need to reside. So I need to go back to the examples, to the assets folder, and in the graphics subfolders where all the images reside and so I've got the face box tiled, the face circle tiled 
So I'm going to grab those two. Copy. And again, this is a GFX subfolder. I need to create that in my assets folder of my project as well. So I'm going to go new folder GFX and paste those images in here. So now I've got the proper PNG files attached to my project and I'm good to go. So at this point I can test out my project and again the new version of AND Engine, AND Engine GLES 2 does not work with the Eclipse emulator so you're going to have to connect your phone to Eclipse via USB cable and launch the project to your phone and so you just right click run as Android application and if you want to see what's happening on your phone and for de debugging purposes you can go to the DDMS perspective and if you don't see this button here you can always click the icon next to it and you'll be able to find the DDMS link in this area and so if you click DDMS you want to make sure that you choose your phone and what that does is it makes the log cat show what's happening on your phone so if I go back to the Java perspective here and go to the log cat I can see everything that's happening on my phone in fact I like to drag the log cat up to this area so that I can see better what's happening on my phone and this is great for debugging and that's how you create your own project with the new AND engine